progress is that we are working on the veranda. <laughs> After months and months of painting things red. I expected to see the veranda up. We're putting them up. Well, the back veranda is <laughs> okay. nearly up. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> Now, Simon, since you're here, yeah. what do we need lifted? No, 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 we've got a sink. The tank is settling in and it now has, it's what, three quarters full? It, it ruined my left shoulder. So <laughs> I've got to walk around like this now. <laughs> She's got a filter in there. So it comes into there and then it flows into here. So that's the settling one. Yeah. And then it comes into here and then it goes out through that hole there down to the tank. I, I was thinking that maybe we should fence this off. Um, you know, give the animals some water further down, mm. but actually fence off around this section here so that the, all the, the things that mm. you would get growing here naturally can grow. Yeah. I think um, verandas, chimney, windows and doors. At that point, we could move in mm. and just cook on, the, and cook on the open fire and then sort of do the walls and the floors and things around us. Mm. We just move ourselves around the house. Yeah. Mm. So that'd be good. How fabulous. Mm. Eight years ago, I think, we, when we first started camping in this spot. So we had a visit from um, a friend of Hannah's and Matt's just the other day, and he, he's a mechanic and he's a pretty cluey bloke, and he was saying, you know, whenever you do something for the first time, there's always a learning curve involved. Mm. And so Kate and I thought, well, that's, that's the phrase. We're going to regard the back veranda as our learning curve because that's what, exactly what it yeah, was. It was curve. a curve on these posts. <laughs> the bottoms would curve right. out and the tops um, would be straight, yeah. so it would have a little... Anyway, um, we looked at it the other morning after everybody had gone and we were resuming building and we both decided that we really couldn't live with that <laughs> learning curve. Mm. So we took two of the posts off. Um, and well, we drilled yeah, two like, more posts. Mm. We didn't, used another two posts and we put them on. And so now the line mm. is, is reasonably true. true. Mm. And that's why there was that variation in the length of the, the rafters up right. the top. Um, and it, it's okay now. I mean, mm. there's two of them that were, were, were just not quite mm. reaching, but, you know, it's, it's okay. <clears throat> but it's been tricky, hasn't it, Carl? Mm. And it's been very long-winded. Mm and planing everything down and filling it all with putty and primer and undercoat and two coats of top coat. It's just taken forever. What I don't want to talk about, and this is what's happened in the last year since you were last here with your uh, yeah. micro camera, Nikita, yeah. is that we now have what I regard as my coffee stool, as you can see. Ah. It came from the railway uh, station in Bathurst originally, and you see a nice sloping seat and very, very comfortable, where I like to sit here while I make the coffee. Very good. coffee stool. So that's what we've achieved in the last year. <laughs> what we can achieve in the next year, I, I don't know whether we can possibly compare with that. <laughs> it's ironic that one of the reasons that we moved from up the top was that I could see that life was going to be endless building. <laughs> and we're back here. And what are we doing? Endless building. <laughs>